hello family today we are taking a look at how to use bentonite clay to add extreme moisture to your hair to hydrate your hair and helps you grow long thick hair if you are new to this channel this channel is all about natural remedies for hair growth our first step we use ghana bentonite clay so this is the actual clay before it is grounded into a powdered form and these are two different types of clay i have the bentonite clay and the other white clay i'm not sure of the name but they are all equally very good so i blend all i crush all into a powdered form and then i add about five tablespoons of apple cider vinegar so we add apple cider vinegar or you should add apple cider vinegar in order to balance the ph you know the ph of the hair should always be between five and four and six when you make it high it becomes acidic and then it ruins your hair and when it's too low it also you will also not feel not like the texture or how your hair will feel and i'm using warm water to put this in the paste because warm water breaks down the particles faster so guys yes after i add my five tablespoons of apple cider vinegar i then add warm water and then stir it till it becomes a paste you can either be make it thick or you can make it a bit lighter but i think the thicker you make it the stronger it becomes so i stir it continuously and this is enough for your hair you can just decide to put this in your hair but then because clay can tend to dry out your hair your hair it is advisable to add growth oil or any oil of your choice in order to introduce moisture into the clay you can decide to cover your recipe and leave it for about 30 minutes before you go back to it so that it takes time for the particles in it to be released or you can go right away into applying it in your hair so this is my hair i haven't washed my hair in two weeks and my hair is very very dry i start off this bentonite clay by spray my herbal spray which includes hibiscus rosemary fenugreek and other herbs well together you can decide to just put this clay directly on your hair or you can also decide to wash your hair first but it is advisable to put the clay directly on your hair because the clay already cleanses your scalp so you don't need to wash your hair before applying the clay mask this is an extreme hydration like it really moisturizes your hair it's really detox your hair if your hair is very dirty if you haven't washed your hair for so long you can decide to introduce bentonite clay into your hair and then do it at least once in a month or once in a week that is if you want to see massive results so the mistake i made in doing my paste was after i grinded the bentonite clay in the solid form I was supposed to have sieved this before adding my apple cider vinegar and then my warm water but I didn't sieve it so my hair was filled with gravels and it, it really became a lesson that I'm going to learn for the rest of my life so when you are doing it make sure you sieve your clay before you apply it in your, in, in your hair if you buy the store bought the Indian Aztec clay that one is already in a fine powder so you don't need to sieve it but if you are buying the hardened clay to grind it please do well to sieve it before you apply it into your hair so you guys can you see how curly my hair has become it really defines your curl your curls and then your curls bentonite clay is very very good like it is very very good if you need to introduce moisture into your hair bentonite clay is the perfect example bentonite clay can offer deep moisture to your hair and scalp it also deeply cleanses the scalp removes dead cells and toxins while straightening the hair and preventing hair loss by clarifying the hair follicles so that they can absorb water which can contribute to growing thick healthy hair when i finished doing my bentonite clay mask i realized that my hair has become stronger like when your hair becomes stronger you feel how it, it shrinks like i really noticed a difference in my hair it became more tight 
like when i twist it it's it's more tighter than it used to be and it became very very strong and i really really liked the results you can use bentonite clay as little as once a week you may need to use it more often if your hair is extra dry and brittle you should also be careful using it often because it can dry out your hair if you are not good as introducing moisture into your hair so if you don't want your hair to dry out you should be ready to introduce a lot of moisture because the clay tends to dry out your hair sometimes it's very ironic it adds moisture into your hair and then it tends to dry it out if you don't take care of it people ask that do you need to wash your hair before using bentonite clay no as i said earlier bentonite clay is cleansing your scalp so you don't need to shampoo your hair before you apply the clay you just need to shampoo the hair so you just need to add the bentonite clay and then you can just go ahead and use your conditioner if you want you don't even need to wash your hair but some people just don't like the smell and all that then they can they go ahead and shampoo and then condition and then do their normal regular stuff which there's nothing wrong with it but just to let you know that bentonite clay really cleanses your scalp and then your hair make sure you focus on your scalp and the strands as well this is a scalp treatment and also the hair treatment you don't need to focus on only one aspect like let's say focusing on the scalp alone and leaving the hair strands or focusing on the hair strands alone and leaving the scalp if you are willing to do this you should be ready to you know be generous with the recipe don't be stingy with it and please can you see how curly my hair became my hair became very 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 curly I'm just deciding to add these few tips to help whoever is starting the natural hair journey. So natural hair journey is no big deal. It's no big deal. Like I don't know how I should say it. When I was in natural and then I was admiring those with natural hair, I thought it was a big deal. But then I realized it is no big deal. When you want to go natural, my dear, go in for it. Go in for it. There's no like there's nothing scary about it provided you are willing to give it the time that you it needs because natural hair really really needs time so i later realized that my the back of my head some part of my hair didn't really get a lot of clay because i didn't really see what i was doing but then i'm glad that most parts of my hair got enough shell enough portion of the clay and i didn't know how thick my hair or how dense my hair had grown until i released it like this you know natural hair can be very loud and deceitful when you twist it it looks like there's nothing on your hair until you untwist and then try to brush it out and then you realize how plenty your hair is so yeah don't forget to add some some of the mask on your skin on your face because clay is a cleanser and it's able to cleanse your skin of any dirt <laughs> So I later wear my rubber and wait for about 15 minutes without a steamer cap. I usually wear a steamer cap to steam my hair but I just decided to wear a rubber and then waited for 15 minutes. So I have this natural heat capture inside my hair. I really loved how my hair felt afterwards like I could just swing my hair anyhow I felt and this was where the trouble started rinsing the clay out rinsing the clay out can be very messy you know because me for instance I didn't see my clay so there was a lot of gravels in my hair but I tried you know I tried my best to rinse as many as I could for my hair as much as I could for my hair guys can you notice there's no cream in my hair my hair was just like that and i added the bentonite clay but i realized that the curls have really popped out like my camera is not really doing justice to what i felt my hair was really really feeling good so i stayed in the shower and then shampooed my hair with my african black soap and then ended it with my ginger conditioner this conditioner is very good i really really like it it makes your hair very soft and you really like the result that it gives to your hair afterwards i don't really clean my hair i just wear my 
wrap my head wrap and then i'm good to go i wait for about 10 minutes and then twist my hair and that's it this is where you should be very careful you can see the gravel in my hair but i was able to you know take everything out when i was twisting my hair so i felt a difference in my hair my hair really felt good it felt very strong like i don't know how to explain this but it felt very tight it's like when you when i finished twisting i hold the hair it was very compact like they were strong together and i really really like it when doing this after you are done with your conditioner and then moisturize wetting the hair or washing out the conditioner and everything please moisturize your hair very well you can use the lco method you can use a leave-in conditioner or you can use a liquid cream and then oil lco method or you can just decide to do the co or lc method or lo method don't omit either the cream or the oil else your hair will dry out because this can really dry out your hair if you don't you know follow up with a deep something that is supposed to give it deep moisture like an oil based product so guys this is where i end here i was able to twist the hair and if this is what you like please do well to subscribe for more videos like this